Hello viewers, here is a Sony CFD-545 compact disc radio cassette recorder. This does carry the Mega Bass branding which is actually quite difficult to see underneath the grills of the speakers and it also carries the compact disc digital audio branding as well. This was manufactured in July of 1996 and it is unfortunately made in China. It runs off of six D batteries or a nine volt flashlight battery. I'm not quite sure how exactly one would connect that because I don't see any provisions inside the battery box for anything other than the connection of six standard D sized batteries. So that may forever be a mystery to me but I'm perfectly fine with using D batteries so D batteries it is. Now I don't really listen to CDs. In fact I'm not even, I don't even know if I have one anywhere. I should probably find one at some point so that we can test the CD player. But I will get the test cassette and we'll play that and check to see if that works. And we'll start with that. Chances are the belts are probably spoiled, but who knows? I've been surprised before. So this has um, it has analog tuning but it has a digital volume control which I'm not a big fan of because of, if you unplug it I believe it loses the volume setting and um, the function selectors are all digital which you know has its advantage because over time it's not going to get oxidized and make scratchy sounds and have to be cleaned out but again you lose your settings when you unplug it this has four um, dials for the equalization the low mid range and the high frequencies as an equalizer and then the mega bass or the subwoofers if you will uh, adjustment there it does have a physical fm am switch and um, that's got a, a manual open to it so let's go ahead and turn this on see there we go I've, I tested this out before on the radio and I turned the volume all the way down and then I unplugged it and here we are defaulting back to CD halfway volume so I'm going to lower that a little bit and then we're going to go to tape and then let's uh, imp import oh dear open this and I guess in a sense we are importing this Cassetti's audio into the airwaves but oh wow look at that it works um. And through those special relationships, God used persons to develop my pushing. Okay, so that works. That's not ejecting very well. It's kind of getting stuck. Yeah, it seems to be okay. Let's try the B deck. Okay. Persons who were so encouraging. And that works as well. I'll tell you about one person. Sounds that, good uh, too. I won't forget about as long as I live. She was a nurse in the hospital. Okay. And, um, I'm going to go see if I can find a compact disc. I have compact disc with you know software on it, but I don't. I don't have any with music. I'll see if I can find one somewhere. Okay, I found a compact disc. This is a Frank Sinatra disc. I'm not a big fan of uh, swing music, but it'll work for the test. At least it's made in the USA. Although I found this in the bottom of a cabinet. I don't think it's really in the greatest of condition, but let's see what happens. 
course this is copyright so it can't play it for more than a few seconds what I should probably do is is uh, make a compact disc of of um, copyright free music and I should also make a a cassette of, of uh, copyright free music as well and then we could really get a good good test here so anyways I'll go to CD and I want to give you that layout to play it and it says no disc which is kind of problematic well again I'm not going to necessarily blame this thing not working until I get a known working CD so it's not recognizing this CD I'm not sure if that's because this CD isn't any good or because the player doesn't actually work it's not that dusty in there so I tend to believe if anything it's an issue with the CD. Now it does spin up and then it says no disc. Alright so we're gonna have to do a revisit on this and uh, in the meanwhile what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a a music CD that I know works and has copyright free music on it. Okay so now let's check out the radio Oh dear, it's already tuned into something. So let's start with... Uh, I would change the band. Here we go. Okay, so it did pick up something. Let's go over to... Hmm. You know, for being downstairs, this is picking up a lot of frequencies. Alright, so I've got this playing, and I'll, I'll set everything here to the, uh, to the, mid, the, the middle. So this is all just a flat EQ. It actually sounds pretty good. Turn this up all the way. It's got a decent amount of bass to it for the size. Don't worry, it'll play again. Looks like it has uh, two tweeters in there. And then maybe a three, four inch driver. I don't think there's anything coming out of that tweeter. Oh, those, those may just be for show. Alright, so that seems to work. Um, the only thing I'm not certain about is the compact disc player, but we'll do a revisit on this when I have a known working compact disc, and we'll see if it works then.